Now then, ladies and gents, this is a really interesting one. It's only a very quick uh, video, but uh, it's a grade two star house. Um, it's just about to go into major renovation. But I thought I'd just show you Ho Ho Rising Down. Now, this is a chimney breast. So as you would expect, uh, it's chock a block full of salts and it's been plastered and replastered I don't know how many times. Um, and basically these stains are covering the bits where Wally has gypsum plastered it. Um, above and below and around all of these stains is actually lime. And here we've got what the, uh, the Wallies would obviously call rising damp. Um, and it's a brilliant example of just how you can get conned. Um, it's nothing to do with rising damp. And I'll show you. I've loosened off some of the wallpaper. And if you look behind, you'll see why we've got staining. And this wallpaper, look at that. It's beautiful lime plaster. And if you can just get right in here, you will see that I'm able to remobilize the lime wash. You can see the powdery lime wash and it's so dry, powdery dry lime wash there. Um, can you see how that's just all dusty? There's no damp here at all. But if I get my little thingy, you will see that what they've done is they've come in underneath with gypsum. And where that gypsum is covering the wall, it's trapping moisture and salts. And so there is a problem. And it's moisture entrapment behind the gypsum. And as soon as you take the gypsum off, this will dry out. But you can see that it's, it's a little bit darker, it's a bit grottier in there. And then above it, you've got clean, beautiful, dry lime wash under the wallpaper. So, that whole stain is all to do with the wrong material being used. The fact that somebody has used impervious gypsum and probably some cement in here too. It wouldn't surprise me if further down they stuck a load of, of cement on too. But just that is a little case history on its own. Um, and just to give you an idea, I'll unpin this and you can have a look at the, the quality. This is um, very early Georgian. And you'll see the, again, the repairs they've done. This is modern cement repair. And you can see the um, gypsum and cement that they've stuck in around the corner here. That's gypsum. And then behind it is the original lime. There's a little bit of salt coming out of it because this is a well-used chimney. So there is tons of salt coming through the, uh, through the lime. But that's the original lime plaster. And you can see that Effectively, there is a, a concentration of salt on this boundary between the impervious cement and gypsum and the porous lime that is allowing the salts and the moisture to escape. So, yes, they've built up, and you can see that line there. If you look where I'm, I'm pointing my thumbnail, that's all salts. And it's been concentrated, it's been pushed out of this joint between the cement and gypsum and the much older and very very good quality lime um, and you can see there where I've just taken the paint off what's emerging underneath it is we just tap all the various coats because this paint that's on here is actually a, a modern paint and underneath there if you see that, is the original, that stuff just there, uh, the original lime skim finish, and it's not even affected by salt. And then here you've got these beautiful original corner beads, the wooden corner beads, I don't know if you can see the relief in that, but beautiful, beautiful beading with the lime plaster rolled in and an edge knifed into it. And Again, they, you can that horrible cement and the soft 
lime and you can see gypsum coming off it where they've done repairs and all of these stains relate to where somebody stuck gypsum on to repair it all and they've just gone over the top of it with gypsum. So you can see that just about every problem in a building like this is related to the use of modern materials and what I'm actually doing here now it's a grade two star so this is a very significant building um, on the Duke of Bedford's estate um, and we're going to try and get it sorted. That the damp wallies would probably call damp. Well you know what I don't think you get rising damp in a timber stud wall but I bet the damp wallies would convince you it was damp. I'll get a damp meter actually, we'll have a look at that and see if it actually goes off the scale. I bet it does. Um, all of this is condensation. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll probably do some more videos here, but um, I just want to show you that little example in there because that encapsulates just about everything that we see and do on a regular basis. Um, no rising damp. No such thing as rising damp just improper use of modern materials and as you can see if you trap moisture you use wallpaper that wallpaper will trap moisture um, in this case actually it's quite good because it's almost like a poultice it's holding salts so the salts are actually soaked into the wallpaper and you peel that off and you've got less salts in there so onwards and upwards